Welcome back, Cordlings, to more Baldur's Gate. Traveling around the north section of Baldur's Gate, I ran into a man named Tick. Hey, you look like sewer running types if I ever saw any. Watch your mouth before I bust it on your pearly whites, buddy. Hey, no offense, folks. Sewers are just an urban man's dungeon, you get it? And you folks don't look like you're on no fancy dancing shopping trip. Who do you think you're calling fancy dancing? I didn't call no one fancy dancing, man. It's just the way I talk. I mean, you guys are so cool. You swish when you walk, man. Oh, no, I didn't call you. No I forget about it, please. I didn't mean no harm, man. Oh, hell. I got to get me one of them dictionaries and learn me some common, man. You a fucking retard. Just like Hiroshima. You got the low wings of motor. Time to get the list. <laughs> Time to get over to the ladies' hall. And let her suck on low wings ball. You got the low wings of motor Christ running now! Here. The skull of Kerif. He was a priest here long ago, and Tamora blessed him greatly. Too greatly, perhaps. Made some people jealous. Made him some enemies. Then one night we found him dead, his body torn and broken, his head gone. No one ever found the killer, no one ever asked. It is best to leave the sword of justice to Tamora. Perhaps this is her forgiveness, no? Go well with the luck of Tamora, stranger. Find Gorak, for he should now be cured of his affliction. We actually don't have to return to him. He's cured. He doesn't give us anything. We got the experience and the quest is complete. Time to get That's good enough for me. Ah. Skeet, skeet, skeet. to get erased. <laughs> All right, let's go to Quinn's house. This will probably be the last quest I do before we head into the uh, next portion of the game. Time to get erased. <laughs> There's a mag hags causing chaos up river, although the east bank just north of the bitch priestess. They took down my pal Nesta and dang near hauled me under too. That's why I'm so glum now. Nesta's mom is gonna want some pain off the battery, but I'm getting so many nightmares that I'll go back there. Time to get the list! <laughs> right now we can go kill that Onkeg and get the dagger and bring it back and not piss away a bunch of backpack space. Just like Hiroshima! Pretty much it. There's a couple little shitty quests that give like a hundred experience here or there, and I'm not really. Actually, there's one more we'll do. That's in uh, North Baldur's Gate. There's a guy named Jardak who thinks he's a kick-ass dude. Couple guys there worth some experience. About almost 5,000 experience, so that's worth our time. Time to get the list! <laughs>
time to get a list. <laughs> Master's dagger. Just like Hiroshima. And that's the dagger you got there. I saw him drive it between the plates of the own keg before it pulled him under. Here, take this gem of mine. We had come to the city to pawn it before all things went wrong. <laughs> Mom was gonna be real grateful to you. The Shandon gem. Just like Hiroshima. Time to get a list. Broken into my master's home, Master Jardek will be quite displeased when he learns that ruffians have disturbed the order of his house. Tell your master Jardek that I want to talk to him right away. Jardek will not see anyone, especially not a bunch of hooligans. Well, lest I see room, I better introduce myself. My name's Drelik. Now that you know my name, I can go about the task of cleaning up the mess you've made, which incidentally includes removing you from the premises. You know mess with no way. Your spell failed. You in trouble now. Went and bought some potions. Just like Hiroshima. And now that I have 18 intelligence, I can basically memorize all the spells I want. So I pretty much went buck wild and did that. Pulled them all out of the scroll container. And got them memorized. Just like Hiroshima. How's that quadruple damage? Oh, poor man. You already took 48 damage. He's only injured? Wow. He's more injured now. Got him a magic helmet. You got the low wings of motor running now. Motor running now. All right, so that's pretty much it for this visit to Baldur's Gate. Let's head back to the flame and fast. Go report to Mr. Scar. Just like Hiroshima. You got 
Drive the low wings of motor running now! Good to see you again. How have things gone? We learned that Ogamage hold up in sewers were responsible for disappearance. He has several carrier crawl that steal out at night to carry off random victim. The crawler used their hapless prey as food while Ogamage took any variables they might have. You've done a good job and earned your bonus in full. Do you have any items possessed by the ogre's victims? I'm sure their families would like to have something to remember of their loved ones. We know for a fact that the Shanistar family lost a daughter to those creatures. She had a signet ring, a ring and set with a ruby. Oh shit, me sell that. That's too bad. Well, I'm going to need some people to do some investigating of the Iron Throne. I'm just going to finish up some paperwork, then I'll be outside the main doors of the Flaming Fist compound. If you wish to discuss the Iron Throne, come talk to me there. I wonder if I'd get more experience if I didn't sell that ring. Ah! Went ahead and just reloaded and bought my... Bought the ring back from... Uh... The Sorceress Sundries, which is obviously where I sold everything. Just to You're do the right the thing. The motor running now. Let's see, I got 2,000 experience and 1,000 gold, so let's see if that changes anything. Either way, whatever. You got the low wings of motor running now. We did, we found the ring. I thank you for your honesty. I'll throw in 3,000 gold. Ooh, okay, well that's a lot more than he gave me. Anyways, I'm going to need some people to do some investigating on the Iron Throne. Oh yeah, we actually got an extra thousand experience and a couple thousand gold. A few thousand. You got the low wings of motor running now! Hello, low I have another job for you. This one involves a group you have dealt with in the past, the Iron Throne. Duke Elton himself wishes to speak with you about this. Will you come with me? Of course I come. Especially if we have audience with Grand Dukey. Follow me. I'll take you to the Flaming Fist compound. The Grand Duke is waiting for us. Ooh, want the summer way. Let me introduce you to the Grand Duke Elton, one of the lords of the city commander of the Flaming Fist and member of the Lord's Alliance. I'm glad to see that you've come. I know that such a meeting is unusual, but in these circumstances it is necessary. I would first ask what involvement you had in the merchant society known as the Iron Throne. We learned that they involve in a plot to threaten stability of your city. From what I have been told, you've been quite a thorn in the side of the Iron Throne. I'm interested in you because of the obvious hatred they hold for you. Their recent activities have been brought to my attention, and I'm very dubious about the intent of the throne. I think it's far too easy to blame the, blame the recent caravan raids and iron shortage on the Zentarum. Through the evidence does point to them, they do not have much to profit while the Iron Throne has everything to gain. I have much to concern me right now, especially with tension rising between our city and the nation of Am. Unfortunately, my hands are tied. I can't act against the Iron Throne until I have hard evidence of their wrongdoing. That's of course where you come in. I need a small group, or one man, of spies to break into the Iron Throne headquarters and see if they can find any proof. If you do this for me, you'll be paid extremely well. 2,000 gold to divide amongst yourselves. What is your answer? No way you'll be honored to help. You've made a wise decision. It's a difficult mission that I give you, but I'm sure that you have the with wherewithal to make it through. Return and report to me once you feel you have enough information to use against the Iron Throne. Time to get erased! I am Duke Eltern, commander of the Flaming Fist. We know that they have incriminating evidence would be found with Rilata, the retard, overall leader of the Iron Throne and Baldur's Gate. He's supposedly to be at Candlekeep on some sort of business. Then there's only one thing to do. Travel to Candlekeep and learn what they're doing there. Whatever it is, it can't bode well for the fortunes of this city. Take this book. Without it, the Keeper of the Portal won't allow your entrance into the library. Here also is the reward money I promised you. Your journey has come full circle. Duke Elton has asked that you travel back to Candlekeep, where you must spy upon the leaders of the Iron Throne. While it troubles you that such evil men now make use of the Great Library, and you wish the circumstances of your visit would be different, it will still be a pleasure to return to your former home.
right. You got the low wings of motor oh, running now. Travelers. Before you will be allowed entrance, you must donate a tome of great value to our libraries. We have book you require. You have met the requirements to gain entry to our most holy library. It's fine to see the child of Gorion once again within these hollowed grounds. Please have your less civilized friends refrain from causing trouble. We're very strict with the letter of the law, as you well know, Loweng. Turn to Castle Keep. Say hello to all my old friends. These walls contain the world's knowledge. I am pleased to see that you've taken time to pay tribute to wise Ogma. I was wondering what you had to offer, Ogma. Oh, say more bullshit. I didn't think you were ever coming back. What's it like out there? It's big. I don't know how else to put it. I lived my entire life within these walls, and the past while I've seen 50 times as much as these walls could ever hold. It's weird though. All the space and barely a book in it. I never realized how special Candle Keep really is. Yeah, people come from all over to see the books here. All sort of folks too. Bards, nobles, priests, mages. Volo's even been here. Elminster too, remember? A couple that just old plain merchants even wandered in the other day. Said they were with the Iron Throne and heard to do some business. They're still around, last I heard. Good, now I have to rob your house. Just like Hiroshima. You have dead pussy around you. It's weird. These walls contain the world's knowledge. You startled me, child. What are you doing to that cat? What, you own Chinese restaurant? It died. I'm studying it. You're studying it? Is that a study? It's a dead cat. The bones, the muscle structure, the shape of it, how its fur lies, where its ears are placed, the length of its whiskers, the sharpness of its teeth. I must know all. You cur. Now leave me to it. But why would you need to know that? Why would anyone? Must you pry so hard, you meddlesome brat? <laughs> Forget the plan. I'll taste you now, I will, and study your dead flesh as I do the cat. Oh, you crazy man. I'm going to kill you for sure. <laughs> Give me that cheese. Poor pussy cats. Gonna really smell like ass in there now. You got the low wings of motor running now. Just like Hiroshima. Why Moradin's hammer? You've been away without leave, soldier. You expecting forgiveness? Are you expecting redemption? Well, spare me, I've got 500 push ups and I want them now. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Oh, I didn't know it's a rap scowling. Set on a little whist now. Make every boat count. Let me drop your fool if I had an arrow every. 
one of these practical jokes you played on me. I'd, I, I don't know. I'd have a lot of arrows. Go on, my friend. Yeah, you'll run me right out of the flesh and business in a flash, you would. It's good to see your impish face again. Now fill me in on what you've been doing lately. I've been trying to get to the bottom of this metal crisis. A merchant guild is involved somehow. Iron Throne, do you know anything about him? Iron Throne, child, why there be no bigger, more dastardly mercantile consortium in all the Western realms? They've been barred from Cormier for their unsavory practices, but all is done to make them nastier. You best steer clear of them as long as you still got life in you. Or kick them on the boss. How come you don't have better weapons, man? What you been doing with your life? You got the low wings of motor running now! I'll rob that chest now. like Hiroshima. Time to get laced. <laughs> you try the doorknob and a muffled voice, muffled voice from inside says, Go away, you chimp! Now there's a face I never thought I'd see again in a million years. When we heard about Garin's passing, Fulu and I went out to gather his body, but you know where to be seen. I don't know what you two came across that night, but Garin died a noble death saving you from it. Thank you for taking care of his remains, Hall. I didn't have the means. Someday we'll sit down over a mug of ale, and I'll tell you about it. I look forward to it, kid. Head inward. Salutations. I am Catterly, a visitor of Candlekeep, like yourselves. Pardon me if I seem out of sorts, but the journey has been long and treacherous, and my labors age me so. May I inquire as to your name? I am certain I've seen your face before, but I cannot fully place it. I am Ro Wang, and I called this place home for many years. Lo Wang, then I know you well, though you had been hard pressed to remember. I was here last years ago and conferred with your foster father, as you were off to chores. I am not much your senior, really. I am certain you tire of hearing it, and the Legion has told you the same, but Garin was well known to me. His death has been mourned by many. I do not wish to dwell on his death. I have moved on with my life, though I cherish the memories. Perhaps that's for the best. I'll speak no more of it, save to say he was a good man. How have you fared in the time since? As well as could be expected, though I have learned much about myself that perhaps was better left unknown. Would that I had a gold coin for every person I've heard hey, say such a thing? I am sure your troubles vary greatly from my own experience, but we have all had trials we must overcome. We all have decided that we should not see the light of day too often. What matters is how much strength you wish to let it have. Ha! <laughs> Such words are better safe for classes and meditations, not for reunions. I'll take my leave, though perhaps I shall see you again before I am to go. The tomes of Candlekeep are very nearly endless, and I am sure to be here for a ten day at least. There are some within the central keep who wish to speak with you, so it'd be wise of you to visit there sometime. Farewell, my friend.
Hello there. Oh, why, hello. Have you seen my book? Wait, oh, no, you found it already, didn't you? Oh, I just don't know anymore. You haven't been around lately, have you? No, I haven't been back since Garion died. Crazy bitch. Garion, why have you? Yes, I'm sorry. I've made a bore of myself again. Garion was good and wise. Obviously raised you better manners than I would have been able to. Obviously. You crazy hoe. Time to get a list! <laughs> okay, this part can be a little tricky because you get arrested no matter what. So if you're trying to explore as much as you can of the something on your mind of the area Please here, you want to just kind of avoid these monks for now. Is a man's harem of knowledge. Just like Hiroshima. Just like Hiroshima. Time to get a list. <laughs> Our library. Time to get a list. <laughs> Our rules. Look at the low wings of motor running now. I cannot talk with you at the moment, but I'll give you a quick message. An unusual fellow told me that he wished to meet Lo Wang in the outer grounds to discuss private matters. It'd be wise to go speak with him. Yeah, we've already talked to Catterley. I think that's Catterley from the Cleric Quintet, if I'm not mistaken. You there, I've come to speak with Lo Wang. Hast thou come to collect the inheritance from your father? He left three he left these several items, all of which are within his old room. You remember where his old room is, don't you? You've somehow forgotten. It's on the fifth floor of the central keep. Please forgive my abrupt nature, but it requires my attention this day. It's important that we speak later of your foster father, but not now. Tethril. Me. I have no time to talk with you, Lo Wang. Don't take it personally. I'm just a very busy man. With a very small cock. Hey, those are my potions. Our library is a man's harem of knowledge. Time to get a list! <laughs> but Wayne, good to see you. I trust you are well. As well as can be expected, Payeto. How have you been? Oh, I pine for the days when you and Grind still called Camel Keep home. You brought a bit of energy to these bars. I shall have to speak with you later at length, but for now you must rest. Garion's old room is on the third, on the south corridor, just as it was. I think there's a few things for you there as well. We shall see you later.
Loco plus one protection. Hello, Lo Wang. If you're reading this, it means I have met an untimely death. I would tell you not to grieve for me, but I feel much better thinking that you would. There are things I must tell you in this letter that I might have told you before. However, if my death come too soon, then I would never have been given you the chance. First off, I am not your biological father, for that distinction lies with the entity known as Baal. The Baal that I speak of is the one you know of as Divinity. In the crisis, known as the Times of Troubles, when the gods walked Ferun, Baal was also a force and doomed to a mortal shell. He was somehow forewarned of the death that awaited him during this time. For reasons unknown to me, he sought out women of every race and forced himself upon them. Your mother was one of those women, and as you know, she died in childbirth. I had been her friend and on occasion lover. I felt obligated to raise you as my own. I have always thought of you as my child and hope you still think of me as your father. You are a special child. The blood of the gods runs through your veins. If you make use of our extensive library, you will find that our founder, Alundo, and many prophecies concerning the coming of the spawn of Baal. There are many who will want to use you for their own purpose. One, a man who calls himself Seravok, is the worst danger. He studied here at Cannon Keep and thus knows a great deal about your history and who you are. Your loving foster father. Orion. Alright folks, that wraps it up for this video. Stay tuned for more Baldur's Gate.